And and uh, just quickly before we go back to Jerry, um, Doug, what was your issues at school? What was it like being bullied for you? Yeah, all I got to say is, you know, yeah, growing up, I there was a point where I was bullied. For a number of years in elementary school, I had a uh, I had a personal bully named. <laughs> yeah, he he uh, he was a guy that liked to steal my toys from me, which was kind of bullying back then. He liked to steal my toys in school and act like they were his own. And and so being that I was a kid, that always got me upset. But at the same time, as I got older. You know, I started going through some hormonal changes and struggling with some personal demons. There were a couple of occasions where I was bullied in high school. But to be honest, this is coming from a guy who, for a brief period of time, was kind of bullying people himself. And I'll be the first to admit that. In 2014, I was a diehard NASCAR fanatic. And there was this race car driver that was constantly getting into trouble and I'm not going to reveal who it was, but, but he was constantly getting into trouble. And after an incident at the Charlotte motor speedway, I became a little bit of a outspoken critic of the driver, almost to the point of an unhealthy obsession. And I started kind of saying awful things to him on social media and even to a lot of his fans. And years later, I just have to say one thing, you know, I, I was wrong. When I saw what the bullies did to Brad Seward and what they texted him, you know, it really reminded me of the circumstances that I was in. And, you know, I've been involved in a lot of social media issues and no one benefits from them. And, you know, I, if I had a chance to do it over again, I wouldn't have said the things I said about, about the driver and to his fans, I would not have done it. You know, I don't, and, and if Facebook, if they go on to, you know, penalize the bullies that bully Brad, I really think for cases like that, you know, a suspension is necessary from the platform. I think a six month ban would be appropriate. because it's Well, the funny bad. thing is, Doug, what you just said about banning, my friend got banned for three days and it wasn't even bullying. He was posting a thing about a certain terrorist organization and what they were up to. And it was, and he got banned. He wasn't, he wasn't supporting the terrorist organization. It was a video about this is what these people are still doing. And he got banned by Facebook. Like, yeah. You know? yeah. I get what Facebook is trying to do with making yeah. sure people aren't uh, doing stuff like that. I definitely think they need to take those measures, but they also need to yes. watch the video before making decisions like that. Well, they okay. need to balance it. If they're going to ban him, okay, you ban him. But you also need to be looking at people who are bullying. Uh, and Doug, thanks for sharing that. 